Hello everyone, my name is Elliot Baines. I'm the director and founder of Spiral Stage Lighting and I'm the lighting designer and creative director for Bob Villa. So the first time I met Bobby, I met him, his drummer, and I met his tour manager, George, at the Electric Ballroom in Camden. We got a call from George, who is his tour manager, basically wanting to create his own image for that show, with it being his first big headline show. Bobby is now finding his image, and he's such a unique artist, and it's incredible to work with him, because his niche is so unique. And it's really interesting to watch him grow, to see where he's been at, to where he's planning to go. So for this tour, we had quite a small package touring around the UK. We had some floodlights, we had some special effects, we had like these sparklers, and we had these smoke jets. So we wanted to keep the lighting package fairly simple because with Bobby and with his music, there isn't really a moment where it's relaxing, it's chill. A lot of the artists that we work with have quite a rise in the first few songs, but then they have like a little bit of a slow moment, maybe it's quite emotional, but with Bobby it's just up. And the energy is absolutely insane, so we need to match that energy as much as possible with what we're using. So we had some floodlights lighting up the flight cases, we had these flight cases made, which George got. I think they're an absolutely incredible idea. And then on stage left we had Bobby, little Bobby, on the drums. He had his own kick drum skin uh, with Bob Villain across it. So this year, his biggest show has been at the O2 Forum Kentish Town, which was a part of his Viva La Villain tour, which lasted for around maybe a month or two. He did a tour around Europe, and then he did a tour around the UK. Most of the venues he's actually been selling out. So for the London show, we wanted to make it bigger and better. We wanted to really give an effect because there were some important people at that show for Bobby and I wanted to create a new image for this year and also for his album which will be launching next year, Humble as the Sun. So what we did was is we increased on how many floods we had, we put some floodlights under the risers and along the back. This was really good for eye candy stuff, really adding more colour to the stage. When you've only got the floods along the back on and the floodlights that are lighting the backdrop on and nothing else it looks incredible silhouetting bobby it's really good for those moments when maybe he's talking and there's a little bit of key light on him we like to keep the stage as dark as possible whilst he's talking but where you can see him and also see the backdrop a lot of the modern shows now are using led screen and led is great obviously you can throw anything on there you can throw your own content on there and a lot of shows work great with LED wall. But with Bobby and with the punk sort of feels that he gives during his shows and with the energy, it's quite rustic. And what I like about the backdrop is it gives that rustic sort of vibe. So when you put lights behind the backdrop or you put it in front of the backdrop, you can create some really cool color schemes just on the backdrop alone. And you can create some nice thuds, you can make some nice color fades, color swipes, like a little random strobe. So you can create a lot of effects with something so simple and that matches Bobby's image. Quite old school, but brought into the modern day. We've had some incredible people work on this tour with us. Obviously the crew, Grant who's the sound guy, sharing the front of house with Grant has been so fun. Rihanna and Esme who's been creating some incredible social media photos and videos to share on his platform. George the tour manager, but obviously the people who haven't been on the tour with us like Light Up, they've been incredible to work with. Dynamite effects as well have been really great for special effects. As I say, we got smoke jets and sparklers from him. So I'd like to say a massive thank you to those companies. We're very excited to share with you what we've got coming up here at Spiral for the next few projects and for the next year. So please stay tuned on our social media, on our website. We've got some really exciting stuff to share with you in the next couple of months. So stay tuned and I'll see you in our next episode. So all right. Ha ha ha!